Now, I haven't officially owned the MacBook with the touch bar yet, as you know, but I've worked quite a bit with it now since my very generous friend has let me borrow it, and I can experiment with it and see everything the touch bar is capable of. Now, the most noticeable and greatest things it can do are all in-house, as in only Apple's apps are really optimized for the touch bar, that's about it. Most third-party apps don't really take any advantage of it, it just stays the regular, you know, what the function keys did, it just stays like that. But in the apps that do take full advantage of it, it's pretty neat. But at the same time, every app has to be a little bit of a learning curve as in my mind when I open Safari my general go-to way of doing things is to move to the trackpad and with the mouse click on one of the many bookmarks I have but now with the touch bar those bookmarks can be up there and once you realize that they're there and you've got it down to a muscle memory it's very handy but keep in mind at first glance you're not gonna know that your mind doesn't know the touch bar functions between every app so it takes a little getting used to for sure so I think anyone who's presented for the first time the touch bar it's gonna take them some time to kind of you know play with it so they can realize how it changes from app to app and then get used to it and once you are used to it it does save time yes so many things are changing from app to app that i think the first time anyone owns it they just kind of have to stare at it as they go from app to app just be like oh okay so now it does this or if i don't like that i can customize it to do this because they have a ton of keyboard shortcuts that you can alter with and experiment with and make it your own like in pages of course they have predictive text which is really cool because that's always been an ios thing but now it's in mac os but at the same time you can change your heading your font your spacing but again you don't know all of that at first glance this is one of those Apple features that I know can be great, but third-party developers have to take advantage of it for it to make a obvious difference in everyday life. And it's very possible they won't take full advantage of it, because things like that have happened to Apple in the past. Like the iPad Pro, it could use some more pro software. Adobe has promised that at the end of the year, they're going to be updating their Creative Cloud apps to all be sporting new touch bar features, and I'm really excited to see what those are, especially for Adobe Premiere. But until then, we won't have a great idea of what it can do other than what Apple has designed it to do with their native apps. However, what it can do with their native apps is really useful. What it kind of does is reinvent the experience of every program Apple has already. So once you have that touch bar, you kind of just want to open everything to see how it changes. Like the Photos app. I hate that app. Never use it, but now all of a sudden, I find out that they have, you know, the retouching tool and you have the cropping features that work with the touch bar and you kind of want to play with it a bit more now. You're like, oh, okay, so I can move around with this stuff. Calendar app, don't really mess with that. Oh, wow. Look, you got all the dates and stuff in there. Or whoa, all of a sudden I got a FaceTime call. Look at all these different buttons I got on the screen. I don't have to move my mouse anymore. Usually when a command prompt comes on screen with a learn more or okay or show web page, those show up on the touch bar as well. Or it can be as simple as clicking on a file and having the automatic share button. And it'll give you all the different ways you can share that file. Just little things that you don't really get excited about, but now you want to try to do differently because there's that new way to navigate through your computer. But I don't think the touch bar is a must have feature. The reason you don't see anyone getting like super, super pumped about the touch bar. And that's why I'm getting a new MacBook, I need that touch bar, is because it speeds up the process of using your Mac. It doesn't add something that other Macs don't have. Of course, it's physically adding a touch screen, but everything the touch bar does, you can already do on other MacBooks. You just have to use your mouse instead. So having the touch bar is nice for accessibility, and of course, those fancy scrubbing features within Pro Apps, but again, it's just helping you do things that you could already do faster. So no, I don't think we should try to implement the touch bar on the 12-inch MacBook or the MacBook Air, because we now realize that if you want a touch bar on a device you gotta add like three hundred dollars to the price and i think we should keep those other macbooks cheap as possible guys are already freaking expensive i think the touch bar is useful for professionals but more of a luxury to average everyday consumers who are just watching videos you don't need a whole touch screen just so you can scrub through videos now listen i do want to be completely honest with you guys i want all of you to understand exactly how i feel about tech i won't lie using the touch bar definitely made me feel like i could reach up and touch the display of the macbook because it is a display that you're interacting with there were several times i had the impulse to reach up and actually touch the display and i know i know i've talked about how macs are not ready for touch screens and a lot of people think they are and i don't think we're ready yet we need more optimization and if there's a good way to do it apple would be doing it i'm still there i don't think they should have added a touch screen with this release however i think that the touch bar is a great step forward for Apple so that third-party developers working on Mac OS can get an idea of what kinds of things they could do with a touch operating system and so can their in-house developers. I think they've made it obvious that jumping straight to a touch interface is sloppy and not a lot of people are going to use it but if they can nail down this touch bar and take this a little step at a time they can really do their research and figure out how a touchscreen laptop can best be made and perfected. I think maybe in the next MacBook we could see a touch keyboard where it's not just the touch bar that's a touch interface it's that whole place where the keyboard would be maybe that's a whole OLED touch bar and that can alter from program to program or maybe the whole bottom portion of the MacBook becomes a touchscreen that way maybe the bottom of the MacBook 
is iOS run and the top of it is Mac OS run because Apple believes that touch displays should be horizontal, not vertical. That could hold up to them, but it could also translate into a keyboard and trackpad. You could customize where the keys are, how they're laid out, where the trackpad is, how big it is, all that. I don't know. There's a million ways this could turn out. That was just my idea. But yes, touch bar is very cool. Not a necessity, but a great handy feature for professionals. And a pricey one. Sorry about that. I'll get over it. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.